Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Friday, August 27th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, what takes a licking and keeps on sticking. This is a wordplay clue. I guess this is a play off of a tagline that was what takes a licking and keeps on ticking. I think that was for a watch brand. I can't remember which one it was. Um, but this is something else. It's about sticking after being licked. Hmm. Is it a stamp, maybe? Yeah, because those always stick after you lick them, right? Okay, let's see if we can confirm that. Ink containers. Oh, we just learned about this. In old-fashioned fountain pens, the ink is contained in a sack. So it'll be sacks, plural. Yeah, it's like a little rubber sack that's on the inside of the pen. Yeah, nice. Well, that was handy to know. Okay, mahjong piece is a tile. Middle child on ABC's Modern Family. Ooh, I've never watched Modern Family. We're gonna have to get that one on crosses. Supermarket section. Uh, I don't know. It's not meat, is it? Ugh. Um, the only remaining wonder of the ancient world for one. I think the only remaining ancient wonder of the world is the Great Pyramid, right? Uh, let's see if we can get these crosses here. Choreographer who posthumously received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2014. Hmm. Shoot, I don't know this one either. This is tricky. This is two proper nouns crossing here. Hmm. Hopefully we can get a plausible guess once we get the rest of it filled in. Stargazers need? I think you'd need a clear night, right? Yeah, you can't see any stars if it's cloudy. Okay. Hookups for a camera? And this is wordplay. What is the standard reading of this clue, hookups for a camera? I would think it would be like equipment that you would hook into a camera, right? So maybe the punny answer is about like making out with someone in front of a camera? Is it going to start with sex? Um, hmm. I think it is actually. I don't know how it's going to end. Uh, hmm. I like this though. This is making it look like it's going to be Alex, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the rest on the crosses. Run from here to there. More wordplay. I'm liking the amount of wordplay that's on this Friday puzzle already. Um, hmm. Run from here to there. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is it about that here and there are almost the same word? It's just that there has a T? Hmm. It almost feels like it's talking about a run of letters, maybe? Hmm. Stuck up couples at weddings? And this is more wordplay. Um, I really want this to be about the little plastic couple that's on top of the wedding cake. Um, I don't know how you would say that though. Like, what is that called? I guess it could start with bride. Hmm. Company that makes moving walkways. Hmm. It's not Otis. It seems like it should be Otis. The same company that makes the elevators. Hmm. First word in a classic song from the sound of music. Hmm. Is it the? Is it the hills are alive? Um, it's not dough, right? I don't actually know if that's the first word of the song. Hey, I'm talking to you, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. Could be a lot of things. Bars that close. This feels like it's going to have some kind of trickiness to it. It can't be that simple. Um, 
bars that close. Is it about musical bars? Hmm. Scores? I guess that could be a ton. It could also be about cutting into something. Like if you score something, you're kind of slicing it. Hmm. This is working with Otis though. You know what? I wonder if Knight actually is wrong. Yeah. Hmm. And then that would mean, since this is bars, maybe this is an S? Hmm. Something you might flip over. Or maybe it's something you might flip over, like you'd get angry about, maybe? Or maybe just really excited? Hmm. Boy. Or it might be like a grill where you'd flip something over it. Oh man. Okay, what's this long one? What can follow plus slash minus? Hmm. Is it like a few degrees or something? Like plus or minus a few degrees? Hmm. Not just in one's head. Maybe it's like real? It's not just in your head? Hmm. It's calculated relative to the speed of sound. Huh. Is it Mach? Because if you're going Mach 1, that's the speed of sound, right? Hmm. Follow? Maybe that's heed? Like if you followed advice, you'd be heeding advice. So in Italian. Isn't that cosy? I feel like I've seen that word before. Hopefully that's right. Ingredient in the skincare aisle? That has to be aloe. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress over here. View from the Oval Office? Is this about the view from the windows in the Oval Office? Hmm, I don't really know that much about the layout of the White House. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Tourists reading? Is that a guide something? A guide book? Book is too short. Hmm. Some kind of guide. And then this could be allowed. If you're reading aloud, you wouldn't be reading just in your head. Yeah, Ooh, that's really hard. Okay. Um, maybe this is the Rose Garden? I have heard of the Rose Garden. I didn't know it was right next to the Oval Office. Okay. Um, okay, so maybe this is margin of error. Yeah, plus or minus 5% or something like that. Okay, all right, we're making a little more progress back up towards the north here. Um, hmm. Boy, this one's so tricky. I don't know what it's gonna be. Ludicrous display? Hmm. Maybe it's a farce? Yeah, because a farce is ridiculous on purpose, right? It could be ludicrous. You might get a date from it. This has to be about the fruit date, right? What could you get a date from? A tree? Hmm. You might get a date from it. Hmm. Shopping blank. Is that a shopping spree? A shopping jag? We had spree as a clue on yesterday's puzzle. Unit of measure in a tongue twister. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, right? I guess that would be a peck. Nice, okay. Brain power? Hmm, brain power. Huh. I guess I don't have enough to get this one. All right, let's come back to that one. Logos on Little League uniforms. Logos. Aren't those sponsors? Yeah. Yeah, my Little League was all sponsored by local businesses. That makes sense. Okay, can we get this a long one here? 
as long as we're on the subject, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. I don't know if I can come up with this one. I think we're going to need more crossing help there. Daniel in the Lion's Den Painter 1615. Oh my god. Um, hmm. It might be a name I recognize, but I don't know offhand who did that painting. Fundamental Particles. Uh, hmm. It's not Masons or Quarks? Huh. Preface to Sharing One's POV. And this is going to be an abbreviation, I think. So maybe it would be something in text speak, maybe? Like I-M-H-O? Is it possible that this is not the Rose Garden? Hmm. Is this an M? Oh, I am Fortune's Fool speaker. It sounds like Shakespeare. I'm not sure who said this. Hmm. Is it Romeo, maybe? Hmm. I wonder if Garden is wrong. Isn't there a Rose Garden at the White House, though? Am I crazy? Um... Hmm. Send an invoice. That should be Bill, right? Okay. Vegetable related to garlic? That could be a leek, maybe? They kind of look like they could be related. I mean, leeks sort of have a bulb at the bottom. Certain tax write-off. That could be a loss. Oh, is it just rose bushes? Ugh, that's so hard. <laughs> I was so sure about Rose Garden. Man, okay. And then this is guide books, plural. Oh, man. So this is so hard because reading can be plural or singular. Yeah. Uh, so I guess this is bosons, like the Higgs boson. Yeah, okay. And then maybe this is Rubens. That's a painter that I've heard of. Okay, so maybe... This is a good thing, because the G was probably preventing us from getting this long answer. Um, before we move on is a little too long. A swamp is a fen, though, so I think it is before. Um, oh, it is cake toppers. Excellent. Okay, that's what you would call them, cake toppers. That's great. I'm glad we kind of were in the right ballpark there. Um, okay, so it is about a tree, but it's a specific kind of tree. It's a palm. Okay, we were on the right trail here, too. It was the fruit kind of date. Um, hmm. Maybe this is not a real brain power, but a supernatural brain power. Could it be telekinesis? Yeah, <laughs> like something that would be in Ghostbusters, maybe. Okay. Um, hmm. A new beginning, and this is wordplay. Maybe it's just Neo. That's a beginning that means new, right? Bowler material. A bowler is a hat. Maybe it's made of felt. Uh, but then... Is this an E telekinesis? Am I spelling it right? Could this be an I? Yeah, maybe it's before I finish. There we go. Okay. All right. Can we get this? We're kind of doing the bottom first, but I think that's okay. Sings to the rafters. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. Really? An equivalent phrase? Oh, is that so? That's a good equivalent there. Very nice. Bread whose name derives from the Sanskrit for bread. Um, I don't know this, but I'm going to guess it's roti, because that's kind of from that part of the world. San Francisco-based candy brand. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like I should know this. I think I've heard of it. Uh, tool that makes the sound scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch in the Tale of Peter Rabbit. I guess that's a hoe, probably, right? Because I think he lived in the gardens. Okay. Um, I think this is C's, S-E-E-S. -E -E is that right? 
Take the bait. Yeah, that's bite, right? Okay, good. All right. Does this bee help here? Sings to the rafters. It's not bellows. Hmm. Bit of ceremonial attire. Hmm. It's going to be some kind of clothing. Name that has left right symmetry. Is this going to be Otto again? It's a palindrome, just like Otto Octavius from yesterday. Blank ID could be a user ID, yeah. Civil offense, is that tort maybe? Like tort law? Okay, yeah, and then sings to the rafters could be belts out. That's very good. Applies a salve to? Huh. I really want this to be soothes. Is this not before I finish? Whoa. Hmm, that's very odd. Let's put in soothes. Oh, maybe it's before I forget. <laughs> okay, there we go. Chemistry lab compound could be an ester. And then missing funds. I guess it could be short. If you're short, you're missing funds, right? This is so tricky because the clue is an adjective. It's not a noun. It's not about missing funds themselves. It's about being in the state of missing funds. Wow. So tricky. All right. And then a sash, I guess, could be a bit of ceremonial attire. Okay. Make a turnover, say? Shouldn't that just be bake? <laughs> yeah. A turnover is a kind of pastry. Turnovers, e.g.? Okay. Um, is it a kind of tart? Although these letters are looking terrible. Um, maybe this is more about like turnovers in football where you lose possession of the ball. Hmm. Object of stargazers gazes. Uh, maybe it's orbs if you're looking at planets. Um, okay, and that makes me think of our stargazers clue over here. Maybe this is clear skies instead of a clear night. Okay, yeah. Had to do our stargazers clues one after the other. Hmm. Mandate. This could be a verb or a noun also. It's another one of those ambiguous clues. Hmm. It's not a writ. Product whose name comes from the French for without caffeine. Interesting. Is this Senka? That's like a instant coffee brand, isn't it? Yeah. Turnovers EG. Huh. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Don't be misled by this. <laughs> I feel like this should be a hint for every crossword clue on a Friday. Um... Hmm. It feels like it should definitely end in an ING, right? Don't be misled. I guess maybe it should be a red herring, right? Because a red herring is a false clue. Yeah, that's a great little clue answer pair there. And we have two O's. Crosses a line. Shouldn't that be goes too far? Yeah. And then this could be a fiat. Yeah. And then this was about football. It was about a stat, yeah, because a turnover is a type of stat that you would track for a team. Whew, that is so tricky. I love this little turnover duo here. That's really cute. Okay, rock on the edge. This is another one that's kind of ambiguous. Could be a noun or a verb. It's gonna be a verb, I think. I think it's gonna be teeter. You're rocking on the edge of falling over. Um, I guess this is answer me. Bars that close. It was about music. Man, we were so close. It's a coda because those are the bars that are at the end of a song, right? The bars of music. Ah, we just had to have the courage of our convictions on that one. Oh, it was dough. Oh, yeah. I was confused because I was thinking it was dough, the musical note, which would have just been D-O, but it's 
at first talking about doe a deer a female deer and that's a doe man <laughs> we were like teetering on the edge of getting all these answers yeah we just didn't quite get there um maybe this is a mat like a aerobics mat or gymnastics mat yeah that would make sense and then run from here to there what is this Maybe it's span, like a bridge would run from here to there. Okay, and then this is sex tapes. Yes, there we go. We finally got it. Okay. Um, I guess this is Alex, and I guess this is Ailey. I have never heard of this choreographer. Um, but yeah, I think we have to put that one in. Thankfully, this one was pretty inferable here, so that's good. Um, blank lingus, that's air lingus, that is the Irish airway. Over the hill with up is washed up, yeah. Chef Lewis, who wrote The Taste of Country Cooking. Ooh, I don't think I've heard of this person. Kind of circle, could maybe be an inner circle? I kind of wanted this to be Edna, so I kind of was thinking it might be an N here. Um... Greek goddess who could turn water into wine. This is looking pretty good because Weno is the kind of wine prefix, right? Um, I don't know if the goddess is Weno or if she's like Wena. Um, yeah, but this is looking pretty good. Sandpaper specification could be grit. Yeah, that's like how rough it is, right? And then we wanted this to be an A maybe? Resident of Nintendo's Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, that's Toad. That's our little stout mushroom friend in all the Mario games. Okay, so it is Weno. And then this is Toad, and that leaves us with Edna Lewis. Excellent. All right, let's put that in and see if that does it for us. Nice, a Friday puzzle in just under 25 minutes. That's a very good time, especially considering Yesterday's puzzle took us almost 45 minutes. <laughs> That's quite a steep decrease in the amount of time it took us to complete. Um, boy, this puzzle was just full of great stuff. It was full of a lot of wordplay, a lot of good ambiguous clues. Like this coda, you know, that was a great misdirection there. And I just loved this cake toppers. That's so fun. Stuck up couples, yeah. God, that's so good. This is hard too. This one, it's a great piece of fill, telekinesis. When you see the term brain power, you don't really think of like supernatural powers, but that's what a Friday clue is gonna do for you. Yeah. I really liked red herring too. This wasn't like super tricky or anything, but it just feels so appropriate on a crossword puzzle. And just look at all this great fill. Belts out. And there was just some nice phrases in the fill too. Oh, is that so? Goes too far. Before I forget. Margin of error. And sex tapes. Wow, what a spicy answer there. It's about as blue as the New York Times crossword's gonna get. All right, I think we can put our stamp of approval on this Friday puzzle. That was a lot of fun to solve. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, this Saturday. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.